So you want to make a website, but you have no idea how. We're going to start at the very beginning and work our way up to concepts like HTML, CSS, web browsers, and more. In this video, we're going to create our very first web page. We're going to start this curriculum by making the simplest web page possible. In order to create a web page, you need a program called a text editor, which is built into your operating system. If you're using Windows, we can use Notepad, and if you're on a Mac, you can use TextEdit in your Applications folder. However, be careful because a more advanced word processing application like Microsoft Word or Pages on the Mac will oftentimes provide additional styling rules and metadata that are hidden from your view. This won't work for our HTML page, so be sure that you're using a basic text editor. Like I said, Notepad on Windows or TextEdit on the Mac will work just fine for now. Once you have your text editor open, simply type in some text as you normally would. I'm going to type the phrase, hello world, which is a common test phrase used in the field of computer science and software development to test that a system is working properly. Now, save your file in a place that you'll be able to open it later, and be sure to save it with the extension .html. So I'm just going to save this file to my desktop, and I'm going to call it hello world, and save it as .html, and just click save. Now if you've already saved your file as a .txt file, don't worry. Simply find the file again, and rename it with the .html file extension, and you'll be fine. After you've saved your HTML file, leave your text editor open, because we'll need it again later. Finally, open your favorite web browser. If you use Windows, the browser that came with your computer is called Internet Explorer. There are other alternative browsers that you can download, such as Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox, but we'll talk about that later. If you're on a Mac, the browser that came with your computer is called Safari. My browser might look different from the one that you're using, but if a web page is coded properly, it should look exactly the same in every browser. In fact, that's the beauty of web browsers, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Once you have your browser up and running, go to the File menu and click Open. We're going to browse for the file that we just saved in our text editor, which is hello world.html, and we're going to open it up. So we'll click OK, and in your browser you should now see the text that you typed into your text editor. Now that was surprisingly easy, wasn't it? You'll find that creating HTML documents is a bit more complex than that, but in general, especially in the early days of the internet, a simple website was just a collection of HTML files, similar to any other files on your computer. Inside of your web browser, you'll be able to select the text, but you can't edit it. So what if you want to make a change? Well, that's actually very simple. If you closed your text editor earlier, just go ahead and reopen the HTML file that we were just editing. Now first, we'll type in some new text, such as the sentence, look what I can do. Next, we'll save the file over the original document. So I'll just hit save. Then, when we switch back to our web browser, all we have to do is hit the refresh button. When the web page is refreshed, we can see the changes reflected in our web browser. As we continue to create and edit HTML documents, you'll find that we use the refresh button very frequently to see the latest changes. In the interest of saving time clicking the refresh button every time you need to refresh the page, it's a good idea to learn the hotkey for refreshing the web page. If you're using Internet Explorer on Windows, you'll want to press Control and F5 at the same time. If you're using Safari on the Mac, you'll want to press the Command key and R at the same time. This will refresh the browser, and again, it's much faster than pointing and clicking the refresh button every time you want to refresh the page. Creating HTML files that can be viewed in your web browser is actually really simple. But there's a lot more to HTML than just typing in some sentences. In the next video, we'll learn what HTML actually is.